Hi, I'm Dev, an undergraduate student at University of Toronto. This work was done in collaboration with Professor Hyjun Shia from UCSD and my supervisor, Professor Daniel Wigjor. In VR, we have a limitless working area, free from any physical spatial constraints, but most immersive visualization systems only make use of a tiny portion of that space. So we explore how to leverage all that space for visualizing multi-dimensional datasets. Okay, let's walk through a quick demo. Put yourself in the shoes of a person that would like to explore a dataset of historical wildfires in US. Hey, I've loaded up in VR. We start off in this empty space and in the center is a panel containing all of our points, each a single wildfire. To transform these points, we begin by branching out from this root data panel. This creates a filter which takes the root data panel as input and outputs a transformation on it. A filter is composed of actions on the left and data attributes on the right, which are used as input to the actions. Let's group by the statistical cause, or the reason for why the wildfire occurred. Things like arson, campfires, or lightning are among the categories. Points with the same category are assigned a common color, and so I wonder how these categories are distributed on the map of US. To do so, I can just chain together another filter and in the second filter, I'll distribute by the longitude and latitude. But the overlap makes it difficult to decipher the color of the point, or why the wildfire occurred. So, let's go back to the previous filter. And here, I'll split up the groups, meaning that points with the same cause will be in their own data panel. For example, here we have a data panel with all the wildfires caused by lightning. Now, panels at the ends are difficult to make out since they are further away from me, so let's instead set the layout as circular, and now it is much easier to parse through them. There seems to be some place in North Dakota that has a huge amount of arson cases. Makes me wonder about the wildfires varying state to state. So, let's branch out in a different direction. This time, I'll split up by the state and lay them out vertically, putting each one of the states on a separate floor. And also sort by the number of wildfires. To navigate to one of these states, I can just tap on it. Let's go over to California. This will invoke an elevator that will take me up all the way to the sixth floor. Okay. Let's see how they're doing over time. Well, we can see the seasonal spikes. Um, and recent years do seem to be a bit worse, but what about the fire sizes? Now interestingly, even though most fires are red or class B, there are quite a few class F and class G fires, the blue and the purple ones. Those can be over 5,000 acres. I wonder how this will look for other states. So I'll copy my analysis and I'll paste it on a different floor. Let's go to New York. Okay, so even though there are a lot of wildfires in New York too, Nearly all of them are relatively small compared to California's. Now I'd love to continue to analyze and explore this dataset, but for now, let's loop back to the paper. So to recap, DataHub uses a space afforded by VR to spatially lay out each step in one's data analysis workflow. Now we conducted an exploratory user study with six participants and found that users were able to explore their datasets in novel and meaningful ways. For instance, using the elevator to maintain the spatial linkages when navigating through the structure. Be sure to check out the paper for more details. This work opens up several interesting directions. First, being able to share these structures can be very powerful, since they are a representation of one's thought process, and so others not only see the resulting visualization, but can observe each step spatially to figure out how it was derived. They also lend themselves nicely to collaboration by using the space to reason, discuss, and analyze the data. Right now, we enforce a consistent user scale, but it'll be interesting to use dynamic scales and enable interactions with individual data points to groups of data points and then to even whole data sets. This can open up new forms of storytelling and analysis. DataHub provides a glimpse into how future VR systems can use the space around us and our spatial cognition skills for data exploration and visualization. Thank you.